Hello dear viewer, quite an important day today if you're in the UK, uh, the Civil Aviation Authority has released CAP 1763 which is the Air Navigation Order 2018-2019 Amendment Guidance for Small Unmanned Aircraft Users. Uh, lots of things contained within but perhaps the most pertinent and most relevant in the near term is the change to airspace on 13th of March of 2019 and the change, the big change really, is things called FRZ's Flight Restriction Zones. Now NATS, the National Air Traffic Service at dronesafe.uk have very handily and very nicely put a map up and that map can tell us what's what basically obviously. Um, things to note, um, the restriction zones go up to an altitude of 2,000 feet, that's standard. 2,000 feet, boom, done. The size of the circle that you'll see on the map, in fact, I inadvertently, I think I have, haven't I? I've inadvertently shown the two sizes. Um, the two nautical mile and two and a half nautical mile radius circle is based on the length of the runway. And then sticking out from the, uh, from the, uh, what's it called? The threshold, <laughs> forgotten English failure, the threshold of the runway, so either end of the runway, the two thresholds, uh, is a rectangle of airspace. It also goes up to 2,000 feet, is one kilometre wide and five kilometres long. That's these stubs here. So weirdly, mixed mixed units there, nautical miles for the circle, uh, kilometres for that uh, rectangle of airspace and going up to 2,000 feet. From here on in, well, from the 13th of March, if you fly in these areas, you are subject to prosecution and um, they're going to be looking out for you. Part of this um, uh, ANO change is, uh, or, or part of this whole process, is the police getting all, uh, greater powers. Um, so they will be able to, um, and they're being made aware of, of these airspace FRZ zones as well. So they will know if you are flying within these that you are not flying in the right place. But all in all, I mean, it's it's not too bad a system, is it? Uh, let's go down to the, where's. I wonder what would be the most. Well, that's Salisbury Plain. If you're flying your your drone there, you've got to look out anyway for low flying military, all sorts of stuff. That's a very congested bit of airspace, and there's also the danger areas up here in Lark Hill and stuff like that, um, the, where the army's on Salisbury Plain. I mean, and just a quick look. You and I are looking at this together. That's probably the most, even London's not that bad, is it? If you consider the millions of people that live inside of the M25 there, that's not much of a restriction or not many restrictions on where you can fly uh, as regards airports. There, look, there's, there's the hero of the hour. That's Gatwick. Um, and uh, that's Red Hill, just to the north of it. And look, uh, oh, that's a good example of, two nautical miles and two and a half nautical mile radius circles there isn't it but look uh, because it's got to more runways i wonder if it actually means that red hill ends up having more maybe not more more restricted airspace more frz so there it is this is coming into place next week or next week next month about a month away isn't it well just about 13th of march this is going to be law don't forget um you're flying dgi gear they're going to start using uh, data provided by Altitude Angel. Well, you can see that on our website at the drone safety map. If you go to SES News, it's the same data that they're going to use there. And that's part of the Geofencing 2 initiative from DGI. So your DGI equipment shouldn't want to get airborne uh, within these FRZs. You need permission. I don't think I said that. You need permission of air traffic control to fly within these FRZs. So there we have it. There it is. That's that. There's no changing it now. 13th of March 2019. This comes into law. It looks fairly sensible and safe to me, to be quite honest. I don't see why people should get up in arms about it, but no doubt they will. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear. And also don't forget to join us at 2100 GMT next Tuesday for our drone stuff this week chat of nonsense. It is always a chat of nonsense. Be safe. Have a lovely rest of the week. Bye for now.